James Carville, your piece okay. in the New York Times on Wednesday says Kamala Harris is going to win this election. Tell us why. Well, I mean, there are a couple of reasons that I say that. Number one, she has a tremendous financial advantage. Secondly, I don't know what it counts, but she certainly has a she she has an organization. She has a GOTB voter contact operation. He has none. It's got to be worth something. A, another reason that you just cannot ignore is the Democrats have not lost an election in the last two and a half years. I mean, Since times. Since, right. And I think that the issues that she also has, if they use them and deploy them correctly, they have the surrogate battle won 98 to 2. And not just political surrogates, not just President Obama or President Clinton, but cultural surrogates, entertainment surrogates, athletic surrogates. I mean, she's got, and I think she's got to create a, a, a sense of all of this coming together. I, I don't think, I think that you're going to see more and more, I, I hope they do, have a lot of other kind of national security, right-leaning, you know, kind of types coming out more and coming out harder and giving harder definition on this race. Um, and, you know, hopefully, and I think, I think they have a pretty good closing plan, at least I, I, I certainly hope they do. But, in, you know, on some of the underlying stuff, I, I think people's attitudes are a little bit changing about the economy a little bit. They should have changed a long time ago, but that's just where we are. And, Above all, you, you're never any better than you think you are. And Democrats, are like, we're kind of a tie race, and they were lapsed into profound depression. And a depressed party is not a winning party. So anything that I can do to address that kind of depression, I, I, I'm glad to do it. And I'm glad the Times gave me a platform, and I was happy to write it. And I, I think all the things I said in there are valid and true. And, you know, hopefully they'll all come to fruition. You wouldn't mind seeing a Taylor Swift concert for Kamala, say somewhere in Pennsylvania, would you? Right. I, I, yeah. It, just any number of these kind of cultural people that are coming out for her, you, you can use it to build momentum. I mean, whether or not you can say whether somebody says, Swift says vote somebody, I, what's that impact? I, I, I don't know it neither does anybody else, but it would sure dominate the news cycle. And anything that she said or you said at that event would get real coverage because people, everybody would watch it. I mean, yeah. or, you know, or, or Bruce Springsteen or any, I mean, it, it's, it's, these people have come out and they got to use them and they got to use them to make real, you know, create real momentum and blanket him out of the cycle. And they got to do that every, you know, most nights between nine election days. Yeah. James, you mentioned that she has a, you know, a better get out the vote effort. You know, we, we've both been doing this for a long time. You on the inside, me on the outside. And, and, and usually uh, the differences are so small. Both sides have a, you know, a try yeah. real hard and get out the vote. And it doesn't usually make much of a difference unless you're really bad. This time it might because the Democrats, the Harris people have a really quite robust get out the vote and the Republicans have farmed it out. And let me give you just one example. We talked to Ben Wickler in Wisconsin about this a couple of weeks ago. But let me give you an example in Pennsylvania um, uh, where Elon Musk is running their their ground game. Uh, my sister lives in Chester County, Babby Davis. She's a big Democrat. She's got a huge Harris Walls sign on her front yard. I mean, really huge. And the other day, a, a Elon Musk Trump person came by to try to talk to her to see if she would vote for Donald Trump. That was a waste of time. And she said it was quite clear the only reason he stopped by was because he has to fill a quota. And I, I think that may be indicative. And, you know, it's not going to make huge difference, but if it makes a half a point or a point, that could decide the election. So let me give you some anecdotal evidence that would buttress your point and make sense. A, a couple of people have called me and said, look, I, I, I just had to go. I went to Pennsylvania and I did door knocking. And I said, really? I said, how did you know what 
doors to knock on. Says, well, he gave me the Bucks County Democratic Party gave me a list uh, of voters who are likely to be Democrat but didn't turn out last time or something like that. I mean, right. even if you just go willy nilly knocking on doors, right? You only, you're not going to be that effective. But and I tell you, I, another person I know did the same thing. And I always ask, where did you get your list from? How did you know where to go? And they said, well, they gave me a, you know, wouldn't I always the list perfect? Are you going to, no. But it, 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 I'd much rather have a door, if you're going to have that, I'd rather postcard writing, but that's me. People, you know, there are a lot of people that just feel compelled to be on the ground. Uh, all right. It, 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 a lot of people do it with their children and, you know, kind of part of uh, it. it that's fine. I, I, you know, but what I was encouraged by is there actually was a reason that you knocked on a door. And if you go show up knocking on doors and you don't get a list, I think you're wasting your time. Well, and I'll tell you, Elon Musk, I'm sorry, but you don't have Babby Davis's vote. You never will. And you're wasting <laughs> your time. But uh, James, I, I, I think that, um, look, there are a lot of things you want to do at the end. You want to have some kind of coherent economic message and all that. I think there's nothing more important than what she's starting to do which is using as many Republicans and generals and others to make the case that this is not just a, a you know, Bush Dukakis race or a Romney Obama race. This is an existential danger. And, uh, and I, I, I think that point has to be driven home. Liz Cheney is doing it very well out there with her. I was very pleased to see John Kelly, the former chief of staff, in an interview with The Times and Jeff Goldberg, you know, really echo what Mark Milley said. This guy's a fascist, you know, who talked about the good things that Hitler did. The more of that, and I would just finally say, Jim Mattis and George H.W. Bush, excuse me, George W. Bush, were waiting for you. Yeah, you bring up a point. Uh, it should have been at the top of my list, so why I think she's going to win. The Democratic coalition is unified, from Liz Cheney to AOC, or anything right. like that. In... in, in they have great leeway in what they do or don't do. And I, I think people are actually cool with seeing these people come out. And I do think, you know, one of the keys here, because I don't think we're going to replicate the 2020 coalition. It's pretty clear we're not. I'd do better than, you know, get one more story about young black males and we'll jump out the window. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to do pretty well with college educated whites and, and well, I think we'll do better than any Democrats ever done with kind of soft or kind of lean Republican voters but that's that's going to be key uh, to her winning because we're just not going to get the same percentage contribution or same percentage of vote as some Democratic constituencies that we've become accustomed to and uh, I'll give a lot of people in the party credit they're like hey Go out and do what you got to do. Just win the thing. And that's always a good a good place to start in any campaign. It is. And finally, I would just repeat uh, to General Mattis, your, you know, General Kelly, uh, General Milley, your successor, uh, you know, Mark Esper, have all stood up for freedom. We're waiting to hear from you. Where are we? <laughs>